Welcome back. Well, we don't know why people do it, but they do. Stopped at a red light, car door opens, garbage drops right into the middle of the street, and it's not just on the road. Sadly, litter is everywhere. But don't worry, there are some fine citizens <laughs> all over Lucas County who are happy to help clean up after those slobs <laughs> and maybe even enjoy a little baseball along the way. Ah, you're talking my language here. Adam Cassie, Executive Director of Keep Toledo Lucas County Beautiful, invites you to play in the litter league. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for being here today. Hey, thank you. I like how you've done this. Litter League. It's it makes little. sense. It's it works. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't like a good competition? Absolutely. Yeah, so tell us about this league. Am I too old? Am I too young? <laughs> <laughs> it is for everyone. Absolutely. Uh, so this is our third season that we've run the Toledo Litter League, and we are looking for organizations and groups and individuals to go out there and pick up litter throughout Toledo and the rest of Lucas County. Uh, and like I said, who doesn't like a good competition? Mm -hmm. We want teams to get together and, and just find a time to go out, and maybe you have a spot that you want to keep clean or we can even help you find a location that really needs a good cleanup. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to take care of all the logistics, get them all the litter supplies, the bags, the gloves, and the litter tongs, and then set them free to go do uh, some, some beautification work. And where is the competition component here? Do they have, you know, there's a, somebody wins something, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So we've got a scoreboard on our website at ktlcb.org and the city actually hosts one as well. And uh, so you can kind of see where you are in the running. And we actually have um, different categories that you can sign up for. So businesses and corporations, nonprofits, community groups, or just individuals. People call me and say, hey, I walk the dog in the morning and I pick up litter along the way. Can I join the Litter League? Absolutely. You're doing a good job. Might as well get credit for it. Sure. So we'll uh, put your name on the, the scoreboard. And then any team that does do at least three cleanups throughout the season will get tickets to a Mud Hens game in September to come back and have a, a celebration. Good job event. Yeah. yeah. Nice Very to get cool. a little bit of baseball in there. Mm -hmm. So how big are these teams? Yeah, we're looking for teams of anywhere from one to two people mm -hmm. up to 20. We do have a couple organizations that are higher than 20 and they just form two teams and then uh -huh. they can compete within uh, that organization internally as well. But yeah, and Keep America Beautiful is a, a national organization. They estimate there's 50 billion pieces of litter across the United States, which is just a huge number. Mm -hmm. and we want to do better in Toledo and there, there's research that says once an area is clean, it's easier to keep it that way. When you uh -huh. see that an area, uh, somebody takes pride in that area, people are less likely to litter there and that's really what our goal is to show that it's uh, socially unacceptable to litter anywhere in Toledo and Lucas County. Yeah if somebody is maybe at a park and they see a bunch of trash out already they might right. just be like mm. what's one more piece of well, exactly. you know litter. Exactly sure. but how has this been you said you've done this a few years already how has it been going so far? It's been going great so last year we had 27 teams and we collected about 32,000 pounds of litter. Uh, what 32,000 pounds is a lot but if you drove around anywhere last year you probably saw that there's still more litter out there so we're actually up to 41 teams this year already registered and we can take teams all summer long. Uh, it does end at the end of August so if you do register a team in August Get a couple yeah. cleanups in there. You might not win, but you're still doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, and last year, we actually started competing with the, the city of Columbus as well. Uh, the, we got beat pretty bad. Oh. Maybe that's because Columbus has more litter than us. I'm not sure. I agree. That must be it. That must yeah. be it. But there's a great Keep America Beautiful affiliate in Dayton as well. So we've actually started a competition with them also this year. And then hopefully more cities will even join next year. So it's a growing, fun, uh, exciting movement. Mm -hmm. And do you find the summer a lot of people are out? Is that a little bit of a higher time that we see a little more litter. Obviously, it's year round, but is it higher in the summer? Right. More people get out to the parks, get out to, you know, enjoying outdoors. Yeah, we see a lot of litter uh, piling up. Uh, spring is always bad, too, because the litter does pile up over the winter. Nobody uh, wants to go out and clean up litter sure. in the wintertime. Uh, so we do hit uh, the spring pretty hard with cleanups, but then it comes back. It comes back all summer <laughs> long. So it's, a, it's an ongoing process. Yeah, and you mentioned, you know, it helps when people see a clean area. But, you know, why is it, you know, so important for, you know, our environment to make sure that we're picking yeah, up. Yeah, so litter. that 50 billion pieces of litter, about 88% of it is smaller than four inches. So it's small litter mostly, uh, but that really moves. So a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, and that's going into uh, the Maumee River. Uh, another number for you, about 2,500 tons of litter goes into Lake Erie every year. So it just washes right down into Lake Erie. And we all know that litter causes a problem for marine life, turtles and, and birds and, and whales and whatnot, but it's every body of water. So 
know, Lake Erie included, and we want to take care of that. But also it, it uh, diminishes a sense of community if your, your community is littered. Uh, nobody wants to bring business or be a tourist in a city that's full of litter. So it does have economic be uh, impacts as well. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, an interesting component. Important stuff. Yes. Yeah, so remind us how we can register those teams. Yeah. So go to our website, initials for Keep Toledo Lucas County Beautiful, ktlcb.org. Uh, you'll have to come up with a fun, exciting name, oh pick boy. a team captain, <laughs> uh, and then there's a safety video and some, some logistics to go through. Uh, but yeah, you'll register right there on our website and we'll contact you on how to get all your supplies and then you keep those for the season and get as many litter cleanups in as you can. Yeah, and then we'll see who wins. Yeah, come, absolutely. You know, September, very good. Yes. Okay, thank you so much for joining absolutely. us. Absolutely, thank we you. Appreciate it. Yep.